Hi, my name is Neil Blevins and this is a tutorial about applying blending box maps to objects. So if you haven't had a chance yet, please read the written tutorial on my website. There should be a link to it from the uh, info section of this YouTube video. And uh, once you've read that, this is going to be one of those examples that's in there um, in video form. So here's a robot head I have, which has a, a real simple metal material on it. And you'll note there's 290 different objects. So say I want to apply some dirt to this, it'll be really time consuming to go in and add UVs to each one of these objects, especially if it's just some very simple dirt I want on here. So instead I'm going to use a blended box map. So I just ran my blended box map maker script, uh, which is available on neilblevins.com. Make sure create map is set. Make sure create mapping modifiers is set. Uh, under map I'll choose an example map and then I'll leave everything else at default and hit apply. So um, this warning is just a warning saying, please make sure that all your objects have had their transforms reset. Uh, and uh, I already did that, so I don't need to, to worry about that now. So once it's done, if you take a look at the object, it has three uh, mapping modifiers assigned. It has one that's projecting from the front, one from the right, and one from the top. And then in the slot that I selected in the material editor, it's going to put this map chain. And uh, let me show you what the, the dirt map looks like. It's just a simple some white dirt on a uh, black background. And here is the, the chain it creates. So it, what it's doing is it's applying the uh, texture from the top, so the dirt from the top, and the dirt from the right. And then those are blended together with a fall off so that there isn't a seam. And then the result of that is blended with the dirt from the front, which is again using a fall off here. And the fall offs are uh, the reason you have to reset the X form on the object so that these work properly. Anyway, if we just look at this as is, um, the material assigned to it is a blend material, and slot one is metal. So you can see that here is just full on metal. And we want to apply uh, some dirt to this. So what I've done is the second slot is a dirt material, which is kind of a brownish material. And then we can take the blended box map uh, we have up here and drop it into the mask. And so anywhere that's white in this mask is gonna show dirt, and anywhere that's black is gonna show metal. So now when we render this guy, we should see the two materials being blended together. And there we go. So as you can see, it's the metal, but now also has these dirt splotches all over it. So there, we were able to uh, apply some simple dirt to this object, uh, even though it has a, a whole ton of uh, separate sub-objects, and it would be very, very long to map this uh, by, by hand, and it's much easier and faster to do it this way using a blended box map. And you can use the blended box map in any point in this chain. So you can put it in for the diffuse color of the metal. You can put it in for the bump of the metal. You can put it in for the, the color of the, the dirt. Uh, any number of spots. It's just in this example, I used it as a mask. So anyway, um, hopefully you find this helpful. And uh, please visit my website, neilblevins.com, for more tutorials. And uh, if you want to be notified next time I post more video tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Later.